rights for their own people, but they don't even know. Marcus Sanders created Planned Parenthood. So every black is mad and Native American among y'all, this is the wickedness of our people. Right? Keep keep the minds blinded so we won't go and repent to God. So we won't repent and get the commandments. Because if we serve God, we closer out this captivity. The more we repent, the more this place falls. Because this place built this establishment off of our blood, sweat, and tears. They built us by being the broken people. But we actually the people of the book. You remember how Moses delivered the children of Israel out of Egypt from doing what Moses told you to do? No. Right? You know about the miraculous exodus? Moses delivered the children of Israel out of Egypt for doing what they were supposed to do. So we doing what God tell us to do, we going to get out of America. And this is called divine intervention because we need it. There's nothing else can get us out of this captivity by sitting there singing and dancing and praying and trying to march all day. When men used to march, they used to go to war. So now we ain't sitting there marching no more. Now the only thing we're doing now is repenting and keep the commandments and open up the book and teaching our young men okay. and teaching our elders okay. so we can get the hell out of here, man. That's, that's a good thing. That's the that's whole thing. That's and that's why we time. up here right now. Okay. We building up our nation. Make the point. All right, bring it out. It's the book of Ezekiel. So this is going to answer all this. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 13 and verse 6. Right. They have seen vanity. They have seen what? They have seen vanity. They have seen vanity. Okay, they have man. seen. Thank y'all so much. Wait, but well, you gotta know your nationality real quick. Okay. One more verse. Okay. Drop all that. Okay. The elder, he gotta go. It's the book of Deuteronomy. Yeah, there you go. Chapter 28 and verse 68. If you get anything of this message, you gotta remember this one. Okay. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's interesting, huh? They don't teach us in church. Now, you gotta open the Bible for yourself. Now, okay. now you gotta okay. do your own research. Get the whole brother on fire. Nice. Yeah. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 68. Right. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. The Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Egypt has a spiritual meaning. Egypt simply means bondage and slavery. Going back to the Greek word, Egyptos means caught between two rivers. Also, the Hebrew word, Matazarium, which means caught in the streets, caught in the rock and the armpits. Um, what's happening now with the war now? Now, does that have anything to do with uh, any of course, God? Of course. God allowed if all this stay, to can, happen break to, all that down. get ready to uh, destroy the world? Exactly. Are we going to have World War Three? Yes. Nuclear war? Yes, and all that is our deliverance. So you got you to wait for that, man. You gotta actually have to want that. So let's get the point. Elder got a lot of questions. All praises, man. Bring it out. And you can get, you can, we got an email in there. Email us, ask us all that. Okay. All that. So save it. Because I know you probably got to go. Bring it out. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Egypt again. Egypt simply means slavery. You can read that Exodus 20 and 2. It says Egypt, the house of bondage. Egypt? Yes. Slavery. Slavery. Exodus huh. 22. I'm ready to a lot of reading. It's got a lot of reading, huh? Yeah. Right, so we can't put down the Bible these last days no more. <laughs> right. Ain't that right? That's right. So get your King right. James That's and right. open that up, man. Very right. understand. Right. Thank you, up. gentlemen, so Wait, much, Hold up, hold up. <laughs> and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again, slavery again. With what? With what? With, With ships. How we get to America? With ships. Yeah. Oh, yes. I don't know. You got there on ships. That's written in the Bible 4,000 years ago. You see that? This is how we know that we the children of Israel. That's our nationality. We the children of Israel. So when you leave today, you got to look up the Hebrew Israelites. Hebrew. Right? Hebrew Israelites. Hebrew. Okay. So what's your nationality before you go? America? No, not American. You're a Hebrew is like, of course, in the Bible. That's your nationality. So get get tuned in with us, huh? I sure will. All right. Thank you, gentlemen. All right. See, All right. Elder right there. God bless you. Elder got questions. He trying the young man, man. Right? He getting there. Hey, a lot of our brothers on that Maccabees, man. Uh. I was getting them with the faces. I was swinging my swan. I got it. Bring it out. Oh, uh, let's get all that. Oh. Uh, yeah, he, yeah, we, we know. We know. Hey, so they making us kill our own, right? Bring it out. And lying divination. And lying what? And lying divination. And lying divination, right? You know, from the time of 2000 okay. all the way to like 2010, we killed 20 million. 
unborn black babies in the hands of black women alone. The hands of black women alone, we killed over 20 million of our people. You wanna know how catastrophic that is? It's not even, it's, it's only 20 million Asian people in America. And we killed 20 million of our own. This is ridiculous, man. Our people are sick. We became our oppressors. We became the devil, man. That man right there, bring it out. And oh, we dealt with him plenty of times, man. Look at him, he's done. Bring it out. I like my husband. Like you being right? going to slave, bring it out. I think that was, uh, I think that was the head coach of the Lions. Uh, Dan Campbell, that was Dan Campbell. Yeah, real. Oh yeah, I know that face from That was Dan Campbell, man. And he gotta get his judgment too. The Lions suck anyway. That's right! How you gonna call a lion and you a hoe? The Lions suck, man, bring it out. Say it. Lions, man. Yeah, God. That was that was over. Say, Yahweh say it. Yahweh what? Yahweh say it. You know? And Yahweh have not sent them. And Yahweh have not sent them. Yahweh have never sent these Christian pastors, man. They did not send none of these people, man. None of these uh, self-proclaimed prophets. Not Muhammad. He did not send these divine divination, man. And they have made others to hope that they will confirm the word. They made others hope that they will confirm the word. Right? They try to make others hope that this man was actually real. Caesar Bozin. Spring it out. Have you not seen a vain vision? Have you not seen a vain vision? And have you not spoken a lying divination? And a lying divination. This is a lying divination. This place was built off of lies. That's right. Nothing comes true in America. That's and y'all right. better get ready. America is on its way out. There ain't no more time to be living up in Detroit. Right? Abort the court. God damn America, man. That's what needs to go. That's right? right. Only white people need to abort their kids. That's right. right. And y'all on the decline right. anyway. Right? Don't point at me, dog. Keep walking. Right? I'll get my leash if I want you to come back. Bring it out. Hey, I can't hear you. Bring it out. Bring it out, bring it out. And have not spoken a lying divination. And have not what? Spoken a lying divination. And they spoke a lying divination. They want us to kill our own, right? They want us to kill our own. And what's your problem? What's your call? Right? Did you, must, you must get your judgment. That's our job. We tell you your judgment. Hey, America's about to be destroyed. That's, right. that's, that's the whole purpose, man. That's right. Right, bring it up. You believe in a lying divination. You believe in abortion. I believe. You believe, believe in abortion. I believe in my fucking rights. You believe in rights? I believe what rights? I believe in my fucking human rights what? to be human rights? It's not that fetus a human. What? It's not that fetus a human. Is it not a human? Yeah. yeah. Does it feel fucking pain? Give me the sign. It has a heartbeat. It does? Yes. Are you... You need to fucking go to Hey, look, she couldn't even deal with that. She got the fucking. Go fold it! Hey, right. you people are evil, man. Go fold hey, it! Give me souls one time. Give me souls one time. Freak it out! Give me souls one time. Freak it out! Freak it out! These people want you to kill your own. Right? All people have killed over 500,000 people a year. Dies in the hands of black women alone. We kill our own for the gain of these people, man. When did we start killing our own people? Man? Let me just get Lincoln Psalms 127. Psalm 127. God. Ask the arrows. No, go on one more verse. God. Psalm 127, verse 3. What? No children are a heritage of Yahweh. Children are what? Children, children are an inheritance of Yahweh. Hey, you got time this time, bro? One verse. Hey, you got one verse, man? Hey, how you feel about abortion? You ain't even got a, you ain't even got a statement? You ain't got a disagreement? How you feel about it? I'm not talking to you. Man, the man can't even talk for himself. Bring it out. That's all right. And the fruit of the womb is, is his reward. The fruit of the womb is his what? It's his reward. No, just to kill somebody. It's his, it's his reward. reward. It's a what? It's, it's his, his reward. reward. Hey, the fruit of the womb is his reward, man. The fruit of the womb. Right? That child has a heartbeat, man. You know it feels pain when it gets that abortion? How y'all feel about abortion? Y'all old hacks ain't had no children anyway. You, you very abortionist? You should have been aborted. I That's want you to right. die. How about That's that? Right. Can I take your life? Right. Can I cut your head off? Right? Exactly. You That's right. Bring it up! Right. As okay. arrows are in the hand of a, of a mighty man. As arrows as in a mighty man. This, this verse is so important for black people. It says, 
children, the fool that won't, it's like arrows to a mighty man. How you gonna go to war without your arrows? You need your children because they are your army. They are your warriors. Why don't you kill your own child, man? That child has your face. It has your thoughts, right? It has your pain. It was inside your mother's belly, right? Bring it out. It's ridiculous, man. This place is sick, right? So are children of the youth. We know what this is all about. This is all a scam. This is smoke screen, man. They doing this to divide the people, to cause another protest and riot. Because they, hey, killing a nigga ain't enough. You kill George Floyd, that ain't get the people riled up enough. Now we gotta deal with the abortions. All the whores and sluts come out and get mad. And all the irresponsible fathers that don't want to take care of their children and pay for that goddamn abortion. Y'all should be ashamed of yourself, man. Right? Y'all right? people are wicked as hell. If you got a problem, come deal with it, man. That's right. That's right. Bring it out. We got the smoke for you right here. Bring it out. Happy is the man right? that have his quiver. Happy is the man that have his quiver of them. That's right? You need to have a whole quiver full of children. Children. You need to keep making black babies, right? That's how we build up our armies. That's right. How are we gonna kill our own in America. They been killing us. They fed us the alligators. And Margaret Sandra is a racist. She said colored people are like weeds that need to be exterminated. And y'all advocate for this whore, man. She hated your people, right? This is why we waste nothing but death and destruction to America. This is why we don't give no pity to your people, man. When when they talk bombs on you. We gonna rejoice. Bring it up. They shall not be ashamed. They shall not be what? They shall not be ashamed. Give me Brute Green Six. They shall not be what? They, they shall not be ashamed. If you ashamed to have your children in your quiver, you a goddamn you you a, you, a, you so sick, man. You a wicked nigga, man. Bring it up. But they shall speak with the enemies. They shall be what? They but they shall speak with, with the enemies. enemies. Bring it out. In the gate. In the what? In the gate. gate. Bring it out. All right, let's do that. Let me get Brook 26. Right? Let me know where you get it. I think that's what I want. Right? Bring it out. It's the book of Baruch, chapter 3 and verse 6. Right. For thou art the Lord our God. Right. And thee, O Lord, we pray. What? When we pray, and thee and Lord, when we praise, right? And, and for this cause, for this thou, cause, and for this cause, thou hast put thy fear in our hearts. Thou hast put thy fear in our hearts, man. Bring it out. To the intent that we should call upon thy name, right? And praise thee in our captivity, and praise thee in our captivity. Bring it out. For we have called to mind all the iniquities of our forefathers. We call to mind all the iniquities of our forefathers, man. That's what we ought to do. So if you want to deal with anything else, we're not dealing with modern day America. Right? Modern day America been, been, been nothing but death and destruction to our people, man. That's right. Bring it up. We're not dealing with that. We all traditionalists up here, man. Right? If you don't like it, get out of my face. Bring it up. And for this cause, thou hast put fear in our heart. We got fear the, in our heart, man. Bring it up. To the intent that we should call upon thy name. That we should have the intent to call upon thy name, man. Right? So bring it up. Go back to our one. Mother got two yeah. minutes. You got two minutes, man? Time, yeah. time. Right? What's your nationality, bro? I don't know. You don't know? Right? You see how we just walk in, lollygagging in America, not knowing who we are? But when we ask the other nations, what's your nationality? They say, I'm Dutch. I'm Irish. I'm from Taiwan, man. Right? So when we ask ourselves, we just say black. That's a damn color. What flag is black? What country is black? What language is black? Right? What tribe is black? That don't mean nothing at the end of the day. Then we call ourselves African American. The name of two so called white men. New York, stupid Africans, America, best Russia. Right? So, my whole point is we call ourselves things that we don't even know who we are. Our nationality changed every generation, but people have been calling themselves things for thousands of years. The East Indian know he a goddamn East Indian, he know he from the Persian. Right? The East Indian know he from the Persians. Uh, Ishmael know he, Arabs know he from Ishmael. But we don't know who the hell we are. They say our history started on them boats in 1619. That's a damn lie. That's Let me show you something in the Bible. Let me get drawn to 28 verse 68. Now, do you believe in the Holy Bible, the Holy Scriptures? Yeah. All praises. Do you go to church? No, no, no. All praises. Because the church is a goddamn lie. Right? right? Bring it out. So the brother already knows something. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Bring it out! Exodus 28. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. The Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Right? So, Egypt has a spiritual meaning. If you know about the Exodus, they just left out of Egypt. So when he's saying they're going to go back to Egypt again, he's telling them they're going to go back into somewhere where they just was serving a hardcore bondage. Right? But they just left out of Egypt. So why would they go back again? We're going to break it down. This, 
Exodus 20 and verse 2. Right. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, right. out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of what? Out, out of the house, house of bondage. bondage. Out of the house of bondage. That's what Egypt means, the house of bondage. This is the book of Exodus 14 and verse 13. Right. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he shall shoot thee to, which he shall shoot to you today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them no more again. Forever. What? Forever. Right, so you would never see the actual literal Egyptians again forever. So when Moses is saying you're gonna go back to Egypt again, is he lying? Is he contradicting himself? No, he's a prophet. Plain as day, because this Bible, this Bible deals with prophecy, not Psalms, not Psalms 23 all day with the pork chop passing the hog moths, not John 3:16. God loves everybody with the goddamn collection plate passing around, saying the law is done away with, but you still got to pay tithes, and none of them is Levites, right? So this is a problem with Christianity. We would never see Egypt again. Now we got to break down what the verse is actually talking about. So let's apply it to this verse. Got to read this Bible like a puzzle. It ain't no Harry Potter book, man. Right, bring it up. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. You can't read the Bible and say, how do, how do I know about the Bible? Let me, let me read the back of the credits. No, you got to read it back to back. Right, bring it up. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Bring it, bring it up. And the Lord shall bring thee into, into Egypt, Egypt again. again. Slavery again with what? With, with ships. ships. How we get to America? With boats, right? Read that one more time. And the Lord shall bring thee into, into Egypt, Egypt again with, with ships. With what? With, with ships. That's in the Bible over 4,000 years ago. Right there in the book. All we had to do was open up the book and tell us our captivity verbatim in detail. We got here on ships. What other book on the earth can do that? No other book can do that. So let's read on. Right? Right? And we're going we gonna to tackle a couple things here and there. We're going to see you on your way. We ain't going to be too long. Right? So just focus and pay attention to this verse right here. Bring it out by the way, bro. I speak unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. Thou shalt see what? Thou shalt see it no more again. You will never see your homeland again. Right? And there, you shall, shall be sold, sold unto, unto your, your enemies. Unto who? Unto your enemies. You shall be sold unto your enemies. Who will be sold to? The so-called white man. You were sold to our enemies, man. Right? So that's what happened to us in the Bible. So what would that make us according to the Bible? What's our nationality? Right? Let me get 29 and 1. Deuteronomy 29 and 1. Right? Right? These are the words of the covenant. So this is who he's talking to. This is what this prophecy is about. Which the Lord commanded Moses to make the children, children of Israel. The children of Israel. I'm African American. The children of Israel. I don't know what my nationality is. The children of Israel. Israel. Children children Israel. Children Israel. Israel. So what's your nationality that you learned within five minutes? Oh. We just read it. Uh, the children of Israel. We Israelites. Right? We are Hebrew Israelites of course survival. That's our real nationality. We the real Jews. Right? So bring it up. So knowing that we went through these curses as real Jews, this Bible is dealing with us. This Bible was written by us and for us. We didn't know our nationalities last days and stop calling ourselves black in America. Because that's not getting us nowhere. Right? Bring it up. We get uh draw me 28 and 16. Right, uh, get a brother flight. Verse 16. Right? Cursed shall I be in the city. Cursed shall I be in the city. And cursed shall I be in the field. And cursed shall I be in the field. Right? So listen up. Right? When we pass out the flies, we have to show the QR code. Okay. Uh, all right, brother, so what's your nationality before you leave? Hey, brother, hey, brother, brother, what's your nationality before you leave, though? Can't never forget this, man. Yeah, Hebrew is like. That's why I took the other day, because I be messing with people just walk past and I, like, think nothing of it, but I want to learn where I'm from. Always! Repent and keep the commandments as well. You gotta stop eating pork, man. You gotta stop cutting our beer. You gotta start keeping us, uh, the Sabbath day. We gotta start keeping our fringes, man. You gotta keep our commandments. You gotta do these things to get out of America. Because look at this place. Look right behind you. This place is finished, man. It's right. This place is done, man. Right? All right, so you can have a nice day. Huh? What's your nationality one more time, King, for the camera? Israelite, that's yes, right. Be safe, brother. Yeah. This place is gone. Ezekiel 13 and 7. Bring it up. Have you not seen a vain vision? Have you not what? Have, have you, you not, not seen, seen a vain, vain vision? vision? Have you not seen a vain vision, man? Every single black, Hispanic, and Native American walking with them damn devils. Y'all should be ashamed of yourself, That's man. That's right. Right? Every single one of y'all. Bring it out. 
Have you not spoken in lying divination? Have you not spoken a lying divination? These people have spoken a lying divination. They taught our people how to kill themselves. Right? Right? Legally. Bring up. Ecclesiastes 10 verse 6. Finally you say a great dignity. What? Finally you say a great dignity. Finally you say a great dignity. That's why you don't see more people on that side. You see more people on that side than this side. Right? They want to have rights for their own people, but they don't even know. Margaret Sander created Planned Parenthood. So every black is mad and they mad to the mock y'all. Right? We save the motherland all day. But we don't know where we're from. It shows you that we destroy as a people. Because when we got all those slave ships, they beat our nationality out of us. Now, contrary to popular belief, I'm gonna tell you something, we're not African. We're not African. Africa got over 54 different countries, but we don't know which African country we come from. Because we're not African. Real Africans sold us into slavery to the goddamn white man. We actually Hebrew Israelites, the real Jews in the Bible. You ever heard that? We are the real Jews. We're not African. We don't do nothing that Africans do. They don't march with us. Right? Now, our people, they destroy, they don't know what's going on, but you don't see no real Africans actually marching with us. You only see our people, like blacks and Latinos. Right? So we're not the same people, that's our whole point. Right? And every, every single one of you police, y'all should be locking them all up. They committed first degree murder. Man, they committed a double homicide. All the police should be locking their ass up, man. Right? But y'all want to look at this crazy inside of them. Right? That's why when America get destroyed, we ain't gonna feel no pity, man. That's right. When America get blown the hell up, we ain't gonna cry. That's right. Because y'all do nothing but shed innocent blood in America. Y'all do nothing but destroy our people. That's right. right. Democracy in America has been nothing but death and destruction. We always destroy our people. Goddamn abortion. If you want abortion, come deal with it, man. Abortion is wickedness. That's right? right. And Native American, and you support abortion. Margaret Sanders was a racist that said blacks should be exterminated. She said colored people are like weeds, right? And that's the bitch you set up on the pedestal. Right. God damn abortion, man. God, God can right. kill you. Right. 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 God can kill you. Can I feel you murder the next man? No, your life matters. So why don't the baby matter? The fetus has a heartbeat. It feels every pain you do when it's in the womb. Right? Make better choices and you'll get better results. Right. Now back to my the lesson, brother. I had to get on these damn demos. They weren't gonna be out there easy, man. Keep talking. Right? Keep talking. You like that brother, man? Keep talking. Bring it out. So let me get the other first. Sure. Bring it out. Numbers 30, 35, verse 33. Bring it out! So ye shall not pollute the land wherein you are. You shall not pollute the land where you are. Right, bring it out. For blood, for blood and defiled the land. Blood and defiled the land. America been nothing but defiled, man. Right? They fed us the alligators first. That was the first plan parenthood. The slave auctions, man. Right? Bring it up. And the land cannot be cleansed. And the land cannot be what? Cannot the, land be the land cannot even be cleansed because of this, man. Right? So this is our whole message, brother. We the Hebrew Israelites support the Bible. And these curses happen to us because we in the land of our captivity. Now we support and kill on our own. We kill each other in the streets. Right? Let me get uh draw to the 28 verse 68. No, let me get up uh, 54. Right, bring this out. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 54. Bring it out. So that the man my brother got some water out. I would use that brother. Right, bring it out. So that the man that's tender among you and very delicate. Right. His eye shall, shall be evil toward, toward his brother. brother. And the right? right? Read on. That's black on black crime right there in the Bible. His eye shall be evil towards his brother, right? Bring it out. And toward the white right. of his brother. And toward the white of his brother, right? But what? And toward the remnant of his children. And toward the remnant of his what? And toward the remnant of his children. This is a curse that we do. When we couldn't admit an abortion, we hate the remnant of our children, man. Bring it out. Which, Which he, he shall leave. leave. Which he shall what? Which, Which he, he shall leave. leave. You leave them in the dumpster, right behind the Planned Parenthood. 
they went in behind the study, they found 12,000 dead fetuses and over 80% of them were black or Hispanic. 80%! Over 80%! So when you see this, you leaving your children, literally, you breaking the curses, you fitting the doctrine and the dogma of America, you literally killing yourself. Let me tell you a, 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 a static number, let me tell you something that's crazy. From the 2000s all the way to now, we kill about 20 million people in the Planned Parenthood. It's not even 20, it's, it's only 20, this is how crazy it is. It's only 20 million Asians in America. There's only 20 million Asian people in America. How often do you see an Asian man? You kind of see them here and there, right? You kill more than they are in America. That's a goddamn shame, man. You killed 20 million black, that could have been 20 million military men in the army ready to march up. Because if you notice something, white people are in the decline in fertility in America. Right? Brother, you Israelite, that's your nationality, right? So they are in decline in fertility. We keep reproducing. This is why they put drugs in our community. This is why they got Planned Parenthood. It's all systematically oppressive. Right? They are in decline. They are dying faster than they're making babies. Bring it up! So when you go into the Planned Parenthood, you only exterminating yourself. You keeping yourself in submission. Bring it out! Because if we overpopulate them, this is why they lock down the border. Bring it out! This is why they separate young children from their uh, family. Why are they always preying on our children? Why they kill Sandra Bland? Why they kill Soros Floyd? Why they kill Sandra Murphy? Why they always killing our children, man? So when you get there in the Planned Parenthood and kill your own, you ain't nothing different than the goddamn white cop. Right. You ain't no different than Freddie Gray. Right? Bring it up. So let's bring back Ezekiel, our true no, prophet no. of God, man. That's we traditionalists right. up here. Bring it up. We don't follow the ways of America. God damn America, man. Right. Right. If you got a problem, come deal with it. We win it all. America, bring out your points. America is a business. It's a business. Exactly. That's why Trump was in office. The biggest businessman there is, man. He was trying to get America back restored. But that ain't work because God is against that, man. Right? Right, so we're gonna seek your 13 and verse 7. Right? No. Have you not seen a lot? Sucky. Have you not seen a vain vision? Have you not seen a vain vision? That's America. They seen us with vain visions, man. Bring it up. Have you not spoken a lying divination? Have you not spoken a lying divination? Right? A lying divination. A divination is a goddamn false ass fallacy, man. Bring it up. Whereas ye say, as you say what? The Lord saved it. Right? I'll be it. I have not spoken. I have what? I, I have, have not, not spoken. spoken. God ain't even speaking out here among these people, man. We the only ones come out the word. Yes, we know. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh. Right? Because he has spoken vanity. Because he has spoken what? Vanity. Right? And seen lies. And seen what? And, and seen lies. People love these lies. They love killing their own. Bring it out. Therefore, behold. I am against you. I am a what? I am, I am against, against you. you. I am a what? I am, I am against you. you. We are against America. That's we are right. against everything America stands for. We go pray that this place get destroyed. That's right. right? We are against this place. Bring it out. Save the Lord Yahweh. Save who? Save, Save the, the Lord Yahweh. Be out. And my hand. And my what? And my and hand. And his hand is against this place. Shall be upon the prophets that see vanity. Uh, upon the prophets that see vanity. All these civil rights leaders, all these Black Lives Matter leaders, they all gonna go down, man. They all gonna go down. Bring it out. And that the fine lines. Right. They shall not be the assembly of my people. They shall not be the assembly of his people. Right? So guess what? If you were down with America, you ain't gonna be the assembly of his people, man. You're gonna die in this place. Bring it out. Neither shall they be written in the writing of the house of Israel. They shall not be written in the writing of the house of Israel. We don't. Neither shall they enter into the land of Israel. And ye shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh. Because, even because, they have seduced my people. Say it. They have seduced my people. Say hey, Listen to this. This is what they do, real quick. Peace, peace. What? Peace, peace. peace. What they say to our people? Peace. peace. That sounds like that Christian church, man. They say peace, peace. Do you see peace in this earth right now? Fuck no. Hell no, man. And when have we been getting peace in 400 years of the yeah, answer? Never. So God is actually contrary to that. God is actually calling war. It's He's more, calling armies, man. Got a point? It's more than 400 years now. Exactly, 500 plus. It yeah, should man. be seven, eight. Yeah, because the original boats that went to Spain was in 1492 or something like that.
or the 1500s, right? They've been taking us from slavery, right? So the brother, he on point, man, right? And our whole point and our whole message out here, right? You might see me hooting and hollering and getting at these people, but I'm passionate, man. We teaching our people our true nationality. We are Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible. We are the real Jews. That's why I stopped. We are the people of Moses. Remember when Moses delivered them out of Egypt and he shook the hand at Pharaoh and said to let my people go. We're going to tell them to let our people go. Stop killing us. Stop murdering us. And we're going to serve our God, Jesus Christ, which and is so called black man. Us up. Right, and stop locking us up, man, like the brother said, putting us in the hole. So we're going to raise up our people. We're going to believe in the true Messiah, which is the so-called black man, man. That's right. Jesus Christ is a black man, right? And he would not have his own dying in the damn dumpster and Planned Parenthood because we make poor choices. Now, I understand, it's not even all on our women. It's also on the men as well. We, we make irresponsible decisions. We leave our children alone, right, and, and put them in the, in, the, in the box on the border. So if it's hurting you and offending you, that's good offense. You need to be offended. That's what's wrong with America. Nobody gets offended anymore. Stop, put down your thoughts. Put down your values and go to the moral code of God, man. Get offended. Stop killing them in the Planned Parenthood. That's simple as that. That was all designed. Put you down are lost, your feelings. Man. Put down your feelings. Put down your feelings, like the brother said. So we don't. We are the Hebrew Israelites. That's our nationality. We've got to repent and keep God's laws. That's how we're going to get out of here, man. Bring it out. And de deliver us. So when they pushing all these doctrines and philosophies, we just thank that God. We thank God that chaos is going to go happen on the earth. Right? It needs to go down. Right? Bring it out. Because. Right? We don't. And one built up a wall. And what? And, and one, one built, built up a wall. wall. And one built up a wall, right? And lower. Others dealt with it. Right? With, with untempered mortar. Right? Saying unto them, which David, with untempered mortar. Right? That it shall fall. That shall what? That, that it shall, shall fall. fall. Now America built up a mighty wall. They built up a wall of doctrine. They built up a wall of religion. They built up a wall of uh, democracy, right? They built up this wall, but we gonna go tell them the wall. We ain't gonna be afraid of nobody. We don't care who come up to us. We don't care if you wanna fight us. We don't care if you wanna kill us. We ready to die for our people. That's it's like everybody that Planned Parenthood that's Bring dying for our people, man. Right? We ready to die. That's we gonna right. tell that wall, you going down, that's right? right? This is the great big wall that's getting built up right now. All these brothers you see on these lines, we a brick. Bring it up. There shall be an overflowing shower. There shall be an overflowing shower among the nations, man. That's you know? right. And ye, O oh great hailstones. Oh ye, O oh great hailstones. Shall fall. Shall what? Shall, shall fall. fall. That's going to be that bitter pestilence and destruction. Storms, hails, chaos, cha chaoticness, man. When you're in a hailstorm, you don't know what's going on. You look to your left, look to your right. You, you try to get under the cover. But that wall going to break down. Bring it out. <laughs> and a stormy wind shall rend it. And a stormy wind shall rend it, man. Bring it out. Lo, when the wall is falling. When the wall is what? When, when the, the wall, wall is, is falling, falling. What? Shall it not be said unto you? Shall it not be said unto who? Not you. you. Where is the dubbing wherewith right? he hath dubbing? Right? Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh. Right? I will even rend it with a stormy wind. With a what? With a stormy wind. That's stormy wind. That's spiritual as well. And double four, man. It's stormy winds coming to America. It's a wind that they can't stop. It's going to and fro. That's these rumors of wars and destruction. In my fury. In my what? In my fury. In his fury. And there shall be an overflowing shower in my anger. Right. And great hailstones in my fury to consume it. And to what? And to consume it. Bring it out. So will I break down the wall that he had dabbed with untempered mortar. He gonna break down the wall that you dabbed dab with tempered mortar, man. He gonna break down that wall. Bring it out. And bring it down to the ground. And bring it what? And bring, bring it down, down to the, the ground. ground. America's going where? And bring it down to the ground. Sweet old America. And bring it down to the ground. America's going down to the ground. This place is at the basis of society. This place is at the bottom. I got you, I'm almost done. Right, bring it out. Yes. So that the foundation there 